Hey guys, and welcome to Picks and Parlays. My name is Allie Burns, and I have got a free baseball pick for you. Don't forget, today is the very last day for our restart promo at picksandparlays.net. Log on, set up an account, and you can pick any one of our handicappers for only $99. Then, to add a little more value to that promo, you can pick two handicappers for $129. It's a screaming good deal for a sizzling hot summer, and you need that information to make money in this crazy 2020 season we're having. Today we're talking Blue Jays and Nationals, Monday, July the 27th, and I've got Craig Trapp here to give us some expert analysis. Craig, how's it going? Excited to start. This is the second series for most of these teams, so we're getting to see a little bit of the trends and things, how the new rules, we've seen that take a, some effect, and We've seen these odds and injuries, COVID-19 injuries or uh, late scratches, how it affects all of Major League Baseball and us sports bettors. I know. It's it's just kind of crazy. It, no one knows what's going to happen for this matchup. Uh, I've got the Nationals as a small favorite at minus 130, and I see a total of 10. Nationals, I thought, were looking really good. They lost the opener to the Yankees, but then they came back and handled them the second game. And they got an early lead in game three and just totally blew it. It. The Blue Jays, on the other hand, I mean, they tw they scored 12 runs in that series against the Rays. They've got some bats lighting up. What do you think about this matchup? The way I see it with the Nationals is a team that's just going to have to win off their pitching. They have not been able to really put up a big number and score some runs in bunches. So I think they're going to have to play a little small ball, a little National League type play. So even though with the designated here, we see this National team is not able to score a lot of runs. So when, it, when you play a yeah. Blue Jays team that they played in a, in a hitter-friendly ballpark uh, last game out, so I don't think you're going to see the Blue Jays score nearly as many runs this series. And I do think since they scored a lot last series, that's why we see this total set at 10 here. And I, I'm leaning towards the under here because of that. I think the Blue Jays were a little inflated, and I think they face a Nationals team that has a very solid pitching. I like Annabelle Sanchez, especially at home. I think he'll, he'll pitch very yeah. well tonight. I just don't like the Nationals as a favor. So I probably would, would lean towards the Nationals if I was on the side, but I don't like that price at minus 130. So for me, the much better play is to play the under 10 runs in this Blue Jays Nationals game in game one of this series. Yeah, Anibal Sanchez is definitely the better pitcher out of the two. I believe he won 11, lost eight last season. Trent Thornton, they're both righties. Not as impressive. He was six and nine last year, had an ERA. 4.84, not so impressive at all. However, the line movement here leads me to the Blue Jays. I saw them at plus 130. Now I'm seeing them at plus 110. Uh, I don't know. There's just something about that. I Also, all the runs they put up against the Rays. The Rays aren't a bad squad at all. It is a, a hitter-friendly park, but I don't know. I guess we got to see what happened. I agree. I think it will go under 10, but I'm going to take the Blue Jays for the side at plus 110. All right. That is your free pick for the Blue Jays and Nationals. All right, guys. I'm Allie Burns. We'll catch you with our next free pick. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Picks and Parlays.